Well, it's uh, the last day of archery season here in Pennsylvania, November 16th. Uh, Mike just picked me up here, and uh, we're ready to drive out to the spot. And um, it's, what, 4.15 right now? So. Yes, sir, early. We're getting out super early. We're going into uh, kind of do a hanging hunt with our climbers. We're going into an area I've scouted, but the wind's wrong for a couple of the really good spots that we want to hunt. So I think the game plan is to go in and kind of set up in some new areas on the edges and kind of see how we do in the morning. I think from there we're going to get down and maybe eat a bite and jump right back up in the tree and get into some different spots. There's a spot I've been wanting to get to back in here. And hopefully if I get back in there, we can get in some bucks. So hopefully you can get in a buck. Hopefully I can get something. They should be moving today with the snow on the ground and it being beautiful like it is. Well, what's up, everybody? It was a slow morning. Derek ended up seeing a young buck and a doe. I didn't end up seeing anything, but I just came back in here to sit in an area in the morning, just kind of do observation of an area I had never been in before. This afternoon, I dove back into a spot up and wanted to get into in three, for three years, and it looks better than I thought it was gonna look. There are trails converging here from every direction. Big rubs, scrapes, big tracks. I've seen bear tracks. I got a marsh behind me. I got the river right here. It's squeezing them down to a pinch point that's probably 70 yards wide at the most. I can shoot the whole distance across, so I'm excited to be in here. I got a bunch of trails just crossing right underneath me, so I'm pumped. I don't think it can get much better than this. This is one of those spots that I'm probably gonna kill deer in here for years. If I don't kill one in here this afternoon, I'm gonna leave my climber right here. I'm gonna come back in here open and morning a rifle season and kill one, so. Just uh, stick with me. Hopefully the deer moves, it's a beautiful afternoon.
smoked him. He's not gonna go far. Where's he at? I lost him. There he is. Holy smokes, I can't believe it. Just got it done. Just got it done, baby. There he is, he's going down. I can't find him in the viewfinder, I'm so shook up. Bed it down. Holy smokes, he's laying right there. I think he's done. <laughs> Northwest PA, public land, got it done. Keep it perfect, he was chasing does. I did a little grunting at him, and he came in right here and was making a scrape right here. 20 yards, perfect shot. He ran 40 yards, he's piled up right over there. I see him, he's down right here. There was two bucks in here, there was a big 10, and then this eight point came in and broke away. I couldn't pass this deer up the last day archery season. He's probably 125 inch eight point, public land. I couldn't do it. Excited. My wife let me come out all day today. Thank you, baby. I love you. All day sit. This morning we just kind of went into an area I really hadn't been in before just to kind of be in here. And I knew as soon as 10, 11 o'clock came, I needed to be back here in this stand. And I got in here and I went in here 10 minutes. I started seeing does everywhere. And all of a sudden I saw a big 10 point. And then out of nowhere, this eight point comes in right here and comes right down the trail, perfect, right how I wanted. And he's down right there. Oh, I'm excited. Ridge raced outdoors, baby. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. He's down right there. Heart shot. I can't believe it. that rage just ate him up. He was quartering away a little bit. I put it right behind the shoulder and it hit the offside shoulder. He didn't go far. I gotta call the guys. I'm gonna get on the phone with Kurt and call Kurt and let him know. Shaking, I'm nervous, wreck. <laughs> yes, thank you, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This has been one heck of a year. Ohio Buck Public Land, PA Buck Public Land, got it done. Oh man, come on, Kurt, answer the phone. Man, I am excited. It's gonna be fun getting him out of here. I don't, Derek's, Derek's hunt not too far away from me, so I don't wanna ruin his hunt. Oh man, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna rewind it, and watch the footage and see where the hit was at. I wanna make sure it was a good hit because I could have swore I seen him moving, so. I wanna see what's going on with this hit. Where's Derek at? That's that big tin. 
Well, what's up everybody? It's the uh, next morning, uh, Sunday morning. What's 17th? 17th and uh, we're trying to get in here to get this buck out and we're coming in a different direction because that way we came in yesterday was just terrible across a bunch of creeks and swamps and so we're coming in the back door and we're going to try to cross a log jam to get in there. I got Derek with me, Kurt's behind the camera. Just uh, thank you guys for coming to give me a hand, man. I couldn't do this stuff without y'all. It's definitely a team effort here at Ridge Raised Outdoors. So Gotta thank the, wi the wives too. Yeah, the wives definitely for letting us come out. So we're gonna get up here to this log jam and get across. We're checking some cameras that have been in here, what, since September, what? July. Those in here? July. Yeah, we came so back with the kayaks. they been in here forever. So we're gonna go check some cameras too that are in here. Hopefully they're still here and nobody's messed with them. So stick with us. Well, he should be down here further, I think. Yeah. Okay, he's he's there he is. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Yeah, start recording. Okay. Well, we finally made it back in here. I got soaking wet crossing that log jam to get the camera, and a bear ended up turning it, and it only worked for a week. But then we checked another camera, and we think we have pictures of the buck I shot yesterday. So we're going to get over here and check this buck out. Yeah, Mike, that's that buck on camera, 100% right yeah. there, man, for sure. You go, Derek. Here's your jacket. Let me get these backpacks off. Ridge raised outdoors, baby. That's how it's done. PA public land, self film, perfect video. Came and made a scrape right on the. Right over here by the stand, right in the sun, posing perfect. He's got some daggers, shows a little bit of age on him. I'd say he's four and a half, five and a half. He's just a good old swamp buck. Beautiful deer. Beautiful buck. Nice brows. That's definitely the one we had on camera. That's yeah, I think sweet. so. Was October 10th? October 4th, I think 4th, we had, had him or something like that. We we'll have to check it. the rest of them. And that was on the other side of the river. So this buck's swimming across in here. So that's pretty neat to see these deer crossing this. It's a pretty deep river, pretty... uh. Pretty, got got a lot of current on it, so I'm super stoked, super excited. Got Derek here with me, so got the whole clan here with me to help me get it out. We're gonna quarter it up, and he's just, nice uh, and wide. He's a nice buck. Yeah, he's a nice, he's a nice wide buck. Looks good. And then after I shot this buck, we had another buck chase a hot doe right here through us, and then uh, the ten point I saw came out here and was out there on that point we came in on. So there's several really good bucks in here. We're gonna be back in here opening day a rifle. And we found an easier route to get in and out. So we'll be able to sneak right in here, I think. We'll stay right on the river bank and get in here quiet open in the morning. So we'll have to yeah, make sure and mark wait. our trail, man. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all your help, Derek. And I just wish you could have been in the stand a little quicker. You would have five got a minutes. shot. Five minutes. If you'd have been in the stand five minutes quicker, we would have doubled up out of the same tree. So uh, we're going to, I guess, get to work, get this buck quartered up and get him out of here. we got a long ways to go. So. Stick with us and make sure and punch that subscribe button over there at Ridge Raised Outdoors. As we reminisce on the season, we can't help but to give God the praise for our success. Knowing that both Mike and I wouldn't have much time to hunt because of our newborns, we still manage to have a great archery season. Now that rifle season is coming soon, we are hopeful to put a few more public land box on the ground. Like always, thanks for watching Ridge Raised Outdoors. Mike, what do you think, man? Yep. Done, Beautiful man. buck, dude. Got it done. Let's you got it done with your foot and your hand, too. <laughs> 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 Mike cut his foot in his hand trying to quarter the thing up. All right, let's get out of here, man. We still got a mile at? or mile and a half, few miles, so. Oh, ah. the front there it is. God is good. Yes, 
God is great. God is good every day.